So hi everyone, um, my name is Sara Vitanen. I'm a local development officer um, for the Apocos Community Company. And thank you to Zoe for inviting me to talk today. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, our community land use plan in Apple Cross called Planet Apple Cross. So just to give you a bit of an uh, introduction to Apple Cross, uh, Apple Cross is a 26,000 hectare peninsula um, on the west coast of Scotland with uh, 250 residents over 20 townships. Um, there's a strong sense of community with many active volunteer groups and organizations such as us, the Apple Cross Community Company um, or ACC and the Apple Cross Community Council. And Apple Cross Trust is the main landowner in Apple Cross. So some challenges we have identified in the community include um, housing. So there's a lack of affordable housing. Um, a lack of access to land and crofts, a high percentage of holiday houses, fuel poverty, and also the house prices are often far beyond local residence means. Um, with employment, um, there is a heavy reliance on tourism. There is a lack of employment diversity, which is often low paid and seasonal. There's a lack of access to land and business premises for new businesses or development. There's a demographic imbalance in Apple Cross. Uh, there's a high percentage of older residents and difficulty in attracting and retaining younger people and families. There's also a declining school role. Um, there has been historical lack of communication and transparency between our community and local stakeholders. Um, there's also uh, been a decline in local services, such as um, local service points and banking. There is a limited broadband provision and also grid restraints um, in the sense of uh, there's a lack of three-phase power. And then obviously Apple Cross is on the North Coast 500. So um, we have vast numbers of visitors in Apple Cross. Um, which has caused pressures on our infrastructure and environment from, um, for example, waste, traffic, um, roads, wild camping, toilet facilities, and so on. So how have we responded to these challenges? Well, there's been uh, various consultation and information gathering exercises over the years. Uh, here are some examples. Um, for example, the 2017 and 18 Apple Cross Trust Community Shared Vision, which identified community priorities and actions. Um, in 2018, ACC did a community survey, which identified community priorities and uh, strategic direction for the community company. And then today I'm going to focus on the 2019 Apple Cross Community Land Use Plan. So PAS was commissioned by ACC to produce this land use plan with a focus on identifying geographical areas which are suitable for future development, including new homes, um, recreational areas, community and commercial buildings, and walking routes. Uh, the process included a series of community conversations and workshops. Uh, the plan helps address many of the local issues I mentioned earlier. Planet Apple Cross was a collaborative process involving local people and multiple stakeholders, including ACC, the Apple Cross Trust, the Highland Council, the Highland Small Communities Housing Trust, as well as various statutory bodies, including Scottish Natural Heritage, um, Scottish Environmental Protection Agency, or SEPA, and uh, Historic Environment Scotland. The process used a neutral facilitation and positive engagement with the whole community. Um, as Petra mentioned, um, our, our plan was submitted by the Highland Council to the Ross and Cromarty Committee so that it may be endorsed as a material planning consideration for development management purposes. 
so the plan has been approved as material for consideration, but however, unfortunately, it has not been put forward for end endorsement by the Scottish Government to adopt it as statutory supplementary guidance, which would give it equal status to the local development plan on, in the Highlands, which is the West plan. And this is due to concerns from SIPA about a lack of flood risk assessments. And the plan is available to read on our website, um, as well as the PASS website. So the community land use plan tied into and helped to refine the three themes we, we identified for the strategy of ACC for the next five years affordable housing, local economy, and community and well-being. Next, I'd like to focus on some direct outcomes from the Community Land Use Plan. So following on from the Community Land Use Plan, um, ACC investigated three possible sites for affordable housing and a site called the Hydro Field proved most feasible and funding was awarded for the purchase from the Scottish Land Fund. We have pre-planning approved and development aims include eight houses and four business units. Um, purchasing the site of the Appleseed Allotments and Community Garden, which is uh, to the site of the housing site. And also an EV charge point powered by renewable energy from our local community hydro station. Uh, the apple seed allotment um, is a two year project and started in April 2020. And it facilitates growing spaces for food and flowers and recreational and educational opportunities open to the whole community. Um, we received funding from the Climate Challenge Fund for this project, and this includes three new ACC staff from local residents. Um, and then uh, Torgar Community Woodlands. So ACC and the Community Woodlands subgroup here in Applecross conducted a feasibility study about community ownership of Torgar Woods. Um, which is a 14 hectare major Sitka spruce woodland. Um, we also got funding for the purchase from the Scottish Land Fund. Um, and the plan is to fell the woods uh, this year and restock with broadleaf species. And we also have additional educational and recreational developments planned for the woods. And then finally, um, uh, visitor attraction. Um, this is not something that ACC is actively pursuing at present. However, COVID, the COVID-19 pandemic have, has obviously highlighted need for upgraded visitor facilities, such as toilets. Now, I'd like to just touch on some key learning points from the community land use plan. So a holistic approach. Um, we discovered that our challenges are interlinked and we have taken a holistic approach which addresses housing, employment and health and well-being. Collaboration and communication between different stakeholders has improved relationships and transparency within our community. And it is really important to keep this up. Um, listening to our community and providing a range of opportunities for involvement um, empowers our community and uh, continued regular communication is really vital for that. And also, we need a clear plan to work towards uh, developed by the community. It is really easy to get drawn into different directions, whether it's by strong individuals or funding streams. So that's me. That's a brief summary of um, the Community Land Use Plan and some of the um, learning points and challenges. Um, Thank you for listening. I hope that that was interesting for you to hear.
and I'm happy to answer any questions in the Q&A.